There's a big myth in the HVAC industry that revolves around higher SEER rating. For instance, you might have heard that the higher the SEER rating on an AC system, the more that you're going to save. Well, that's not always the case. Hi, this is Kenneth with Atlas AC, and in this video we're going to be covering the topic of SEER rating and how much it actually saves you. At any point during this video, if you find it to be helpful, please hit the like button. Uh, that's going to really help me out with the YouTube algorithms. SEER stands for Seasonal Energy Efficiency Ratio. And what SEER is doing, it is measuring the efficiency of the cooling capacity of an air conditioner and doesn't have much to do with your heater. What this means is you're going to see the majority of your energy savings during the summertime. And just to clarify what I mean by savings, I'm actually looking at savings from an ROI uh, standpoint. So ROI just stands for return on investment. That means if you're going to pay extra money for something, how long does it take for that money to come back to you? There's two main questions that we get asked all the time. And one being, I got a high electric bill. Can I just change out my system and fix this problem? The other one is, is you have an existing system that's 15 years or older and it's on its way out and you have to do something anyways. And each one of those questions has a different answer on expected savings. Here's a cool online SEER energy savings calculator that anybody can use. Uh, and the URL is SEERenergysavings.com. We are not affiliated with this company at all, but it is a very useful tool that anybody can use to get a good idea and to set proper expectations on energy savings. You know, and mind you, this isn't going to be perfectly accurate, but it's, it's there to give you a good idea. If you are interested in using this calculator for yourself, there is a few settings that you want to look at. Um, you want to get the current air conditioner settings right, the size of your current system, and then, then you get to play around with different SEER ratings. You're going to also want to enter in what states you're located in and the city as well. Let's say you just moved into a home and your electric bills are out of control and you're just looking for any way to get your your electric bill down. Let's say your AC system is, is only five years old and you go, well, maybe if I replace this system, then it's going to lower my electric bill. And yes, it's going to lower your electric bill. However, it's not going to ever ROI. And let me show you why. Let's say you have a 1,500 square foot home and it needs a three ton AC system. And let's say your electric bill is out of control and your system is less than uh, 10 years old. It would probably be a 13 sear system. But if we come over here and we, we look at bumping it up just from a 13 sear to a 14 sear system, your savings is less than $800 over the course of the lifetime of, of this new system and uh, a three ton basic 14 sear system is gonna cost anywhere between 6,500 and $8,500. And so you can see that that is never going to pay for itself. So let's look at it, what it does whenever we bump it up to 16 sear. So the savings does go up quite a bit. Uh, you can see now it came up to $2,000. Uh, so that does help, but again, still never gonna pay for itself. Let's go up to 18 sear. So at 18 sear, uh, you save another thousand dollars over the course of the life over the 16 sear. However, we're now looking at variable speed systems to do this, and the price range in between a variable speed system is going to range in between ninety five hundred dollars and uh, over ten thousand. So that's never going to pay for itself. And the whole reason I'm putting this out is because it's very normal in our industry for salesmen to try to convince homeowners that it's going to pay for itself in when in reality you just saw the numbers. So if you're looking at replacing a newer AC system, I would do it for reasons like it's not sized properly, or if you're looking for a better quality system, or let's say you're going solar and you're just wanting to use less solar panels. Let's shift gears for a second and look at the other scenario. Let's say you have an existing AC system and it's it's older and the repair bills are about to start stacking up and it's time to replace it. Then the question flips over to what SEER rating makes the most financial sense? So let's continue using a three ton system as our example. Now if it's an older system, it's probably going to be a 12 SEER system. 
and let's look at the jump from 12 seer to 14. And as you can see by bumping it up two seer ratings, going from 12 seer to 14 seer, you're going to save close to $1,700 over the lifetime of the system. So what does it look like if you end up bumping it up to a 16 seer system? So let's check it out. So you can see the savings jumps up to almost $3,000. And in between these two numbers, the exact number on the delta, meaning the increased savings that you're going to get from a 16 seer system is $1,271 over the lifetime of the system. So you're gonna generate $1,271 more in savings than a, than a 14 seer system. So the question from there is, does that make sense to go ahead and go with the 16 seer system? Well, in our pricing, the price difference is only a couple hundred dollars more for a 16 seer system. So heck yeah, that's gonna pay for itself. Along with that, you're going to get a rebate. So it, that 100% makes sense to step it up to a 16 seer system. So as a quick disclaimer, I have been talking about single stage systems. So if we look at, let's say a two speed 16 seer system, would that financially make sense? Well, a two-speed 16-seer system is going to cost roughly $2,000 more than what a, a single-stage 16-seer system is. So we're still going to end up dealing with the same delta in between the 14 and the 16-seer, which is $1,271. However, you're, you're looking at $2,000 more in cost. Now, if we add a rebate in there, then you're still going to end up being upside down $429 if you upgrade to a two-speed system. Now, that being said, we also sell more two-speed systems than any other system, more than single-speed systems and the high-end variable-speed systems. And to find out why customers are buying two-speed systems more than single-speed, you can watch the next video that helps explain the difference in between single speed, two speed, and the high end variable speed systems. Now lastly, let's talk about high end variable speed systems. And we can start off with a 18 seer variable speed. So there's a nice little jump going from a 14 seer to an 18 seer, and that comes out to being $2,259 additional in savings over a 14 seer system. So the rule of thumb, you're pretty much going to be paying double what a 14 seer system cost. So under no circumstances will it ever pay for itself. So I would not buy a variable speed system with the expectations of me getting my money back through energy savings. However, I would consider buying it for other reasons and other features that uh, these systems have. There is a reason that they cost so much more. So there you have it, the additional cost that's going to be incurred in going up in SEER ratings, balancing that out with the energy savings that you're going to get. So jumping up from a 14 SEER system to a 16 SEER single speed system is pretty much always going to make uh, sense because you know that jump, it doesn't cost a lot more. However, you still see the, the benefit of the energy savings. And also most people are, will be eligible for rebates as well so that system definitely makes sense to jump up then you got the two speed systems which is right there on the line it's not going to quite pay for itself over the course of its life but it's still a great system and worth considering and then you got the high end variable speed system which it's just not going to pay for itself through energy savings so you would consider purchasing that one for different reasons. Now, the savings that we did review through this video is very conservative. And the reason why I like going the conservative route is I don't like setting up false expectations for our customers. We have had instances where we have replaced systems for some of our customers and they have reported back to us with savings of $300 a month in reduction to their electric bill. And they even showed us the electric bills proving that it did go down $300 a month, which in no scenario that, that I just showed you would do that. And there were all sorts of reasons why they were saving that much money. However, it's just not that common. So that's why we don't really promote stories like that. If you found this video to be helpful, please hit the like button and that will help us grow on YouTube. 
Also, you might be interested in our next video that covers the topic of multi-speed AC systems. Until next time, have a good one.